Hey guys, um, so this is my model's canvas before and what I'm doing is I'm sectioning the hair into four quadrants and um, just talking a lot. I, this video was um, 30 minutes long and I tried to cut it down um, as short as I could but honestly it was taking so long and I've been really busy but I'm just going to literally do like a retouch everywhere um, with my base color so I've gone for half a shade darker than her natural to allow for like fading um, and I have also put in a slightly um, warmer reflect as well to help with the hold and filling onto her blonde so I use half 6N and half um, 531 and I use 6 Vol and this is in Dia Richesse but obviously we could do this in Dia Color as well um, but I'm just going through and I'm feathering the demarcation line of where um, the previous blonde highlights were sitting. I'm taking them down lower as I get further down the back of the head so the top is just like a tap and the underneath is like a little bit more dragged out to really build that dimension and then I'm just taking alternating sections. One goes over the shoulder and one goes down behind the back. I do this um, all the way up on each section so it's split into four pieces so there's two pieces in the back on one side I'm kind of go, doing the diagonal all the way till I get to this little tiny section in the top and then I do the same on the other side everything over the shoulder is going to um, stay blonde and everything down her back is going to be colored darker and there's no foiling there's no weaving it's literally just these alternating sections you take different thickness of sections depending on how thick you want the ribbons to be if you want a really seamless blended result you would use a really really skinny um section size um which is what i'm doing here so that it's super super blended and seamless for her once i've done this on this side then i'm going to repeat it on the other side of her head and yeah sorry this video is super long i didn't speed it up at all because i just didn't have the time but i'm just going to clip out my blonde section out the way and i kind of like comb and feather it a little bit so that it's really really blended it's really visual like you want to be painting the color on um in a way that looks really effortless and soft and then i'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side like i'm doing right now um all the way till i get to the top at this point i'm just um repeating the same things but yeah you guys get the gist um so once i get to the very very top you obviously don't want to have like um too lightness or too darkness next to each other so i make sure i finish in a way where there is one going on each pile um so that both of the sides are effortlessly blended you can see here that it's like equal in all of the strands and um, so now i go through and i'm going to pull through the dark on all of the sections working that through my blonde is clipped away super nice and tidy you could do a different formula on the ends here so if they didn't want as much depth this could be where we use a more gold reflect um, tone on tone lighter level um, just to add a glimmer of dimension through her blonde but keeping her like a little bit more rooted here she wanted to go for more of a, her natural base with highlights so I'm dragging the same color all the way through but it's a really good opportunity for variation because you can kind of customize this and melt this into a different formula on the ends once I've done this I keep my sections nice and tidy so the dark is completely away from the blonde and then you can see as I'm coming through the front this is now me editing um in the evening because I my client needed to be cut anyway I'm sectioning out the hairline because I wanted a face frame so I, I'm not going to do anything with that I'm just going to like tone it at the basin and melt it into the blonde I want to keep her existing blonde height otherwise you could put in baby lights or face framing like foils as well in this technique to customize it further but um here we're just going to use her natural root and her existing highlights so i'm just going to go through and do the same that i did at the back and blend out that demarcation line bit by bit my filming here wasn't as good i'm so sorry um, so from the crown where all of the four quadrants meet i'm taking skinny sections and diagonals um working painting in a backwards motion until I've reached the face frame. This keeps the face frame nice and tidy and no color on that and keeps my application really clean. And then I split this section in half. So I have the lower section and then the upper section separate. This keeps everything tidy because when you're pulling through your sections, it can get quite messy. 
through here around the face, I'm taking like pie sections from the point being where the face frame is. Um, and so that I have diag diagonal back sections, um, uh, like I would paint a balayage or lift the hair and I'm kind of just visually picking those pieces of how I want it to fall around her face, how much blonde I want. If you want it more blonde, you can do less, but that section of the head is where, um, the blonde through the ends around the face shows. So it's really important um, for your placement there and then I'm going to do really fine skinny sections along the top so I have a really seamless fine blend that kind of looks like I did like a whole lot of low lights but I actually didn't um, and so I pull through the underneath sections before the top and I do it separately I think it just um, makes for a cleaner application and then once I've done the top I'll pull that through as well you'll notice that I'm really looking at at what is touching the blonde and making sure that there is no um, transfer on any of that so that our color can be really whole and complete. Then with gloves, I like to make sure that my top lying sections kind of scoop around. It's almost like a finger wave, this kind of motion. So kind of like bending the hair around where the blonde is to prevent any touching. It's um, a super moldable color and it does have a little bit of that hold. So you can definitely get it um, to where you want it to be and manipulate it a little bit and just making sure that the blonde that's left out, you can see I've kind of feathered those sections in a way that I would want the hair to be balayaged um, just to really make those pop, um, blonde highlights transition really well. And then I'm just going to do the same all over on the other side. <laughs> Yeah, here is the tutorial of my reverse balayage. This could be done tone on tone, so many different ways. I call it a dimensional global because it's a global application, but in a dimensional way. Let me know what you think.